Hi, everyone, and thanks for tuning in. As Wally said, my name is Andrew Gitlin, and I am the co-founder and CEO of Thrive. Uh, quick background, I've been a C-suite executive and entrepreneur for many years, including 10 years as CEO of an AIG subsidiary, and I was CEO of a Better For You snack food brand, which I sold recently after three years of growth, and I was the founder of that company as well. However, I need to say that Thrive is one of the most rewarding opportunities that I've been involved with in my career, and I'm really excited to share it with you. Thrive is in the business of disrupting the huge and rapidly growing home-based care industry by solving a number of very significant problems facing, in, facing the industry in one innovative service platform. Next slide, please. Uh, we put together a really qualified and ex significantly experienced team to help us through this, as you can see here. We can talk more about the team individually offline. But let me first tell you briefly a story which I suspect that many of you listening right now have had or will soon experience personally in your families. My family members, my elderly family live members, live out of town and were becoming unable to care for themselves at home. This meant we had to figure out how and where to find capable, dependable, trustable people to come into the house regularly and care for them. The question we faced, and I think many of you will face or have faced, is who are you going to call? To make a long story short, it was a nightmare finding people to deal with this issue. The various small mom and pop agencies and franchises either didn't have qualified people available or could not dependably, dependably provide them. We ended up on one of those matching sort of bulletin board platforms, care.com, and that left us having to navigate this wilderness ourselves, and we ended up with either unqualified or undependable strangers. It was a mess, and it wasn't what we really wanted, and it was impossible to manage. So we were forced ultimately to place my family into assisted living at probably 10 times the expense. We were unhappy, my family was unhappy, my co-founder, Carol, and everyone I speak to in my age group has faced almost an identical set of problems. And this is what gave rise to Thrive. Next slide, please. Imagine if you could immediately access the highest quality home care service for your family or yourself via your smartphone or your laptop. Imagine if the people who came to visit yourself or your family member were actually employees of a company who were fully trained and vetted. Imagine if as a family member you got daily reporting of how mom was doing, pushed directly to your laptop or your phone, perhaps along with pictures of mom so you could see how she was doing and how the house looked. Imagine if a full data report of the service that was done that day was available for the insurance provider and Medicare for reimbursement as well as your primary care physician so that they could manage the care continuum. This is what is desperately needed. This is what Thrive is all about and we will be the first mover brand providing both the gold standard quality of care with truly motivated workers along with the ease of access, reporting and data management that's required. I know it sounds crazy, but none of this has existed until Thrive. Let me tell you a little bit, since you're interested in the company, let's talk about the industry a bit. It's a massive, highly fragmented industry, and it is growing dramatically for a number of reasons. To begin with, right now the industry is approximately $55 billion alone in the U.S. At the rate of growth we're seeing, it'll, it, it'll hit probably 75 or more billion dollars by year 2020. The reasons for this dramatic pace of growth are a few. Number one, it is 75% less expensive to care for mom at home than in an institution. That's a big deal. That's a big deal for us, you, and it's a big deal for the reimbursers like Medicare and the insurance companies. 82% of retired people prefer to be cared in the comfort of their home, and I bet that's no surprise to anybody. And finally, within the Medicare and reimbursement side, a huge problem that needs to be solved is the problem of fraud, waste, and abuse. Through our ongoing dialogues with the uh, Deputy Director at Health and Human Services about what we're putting together here, we have been directly told that if we can solve 
fraud, waste, and abuse within our platform, that will be a huge, huge deal for them. Next slide. So Thrive is a unique end-to-end -end solution that is going to solve a host of the problems in the industry. Um, if you look at what Thrive is solving versus the status quo, we provide instant and very easy access to getting care for yourself or for your family members through multi-platform access. It'll be mobile, it'll be laptop, Android, uh, PC, and iPhone. In terms of the quality of care, which is something we're really focused on as the provider of this care, we're focused on the top quality that we can possibly provide, and that's important in supporting our brand. Therefore, the caregivers we send out will be certified caregivers that will be vetted and trained and certified before they're allowed to go out. That is very difficult to find in any other format. Everything we do, every service we provide is customized for how for individual needs and we think that our brand is going to be linked to the gold standard of care and then finally transparency that's a very big deal right now if you send somebody out to care for mom either through care.com or another provider you have to chase that person down to find out how mom is doing and how the house looks and what's going on with their health through Thrive you get daily automatic push reporting to any approved and authorized family member that talks about the care that was provided, how mom is doing, and in conclude, include photographs of mom and the house so you can see how things look. Next slide, please. So here if you compare Thrive to the um, competition that's out there, you see a number of things that various providers provide pieces of the puzzle but nobody puts the whole puzzle together in an end-to-end -end solution the way Thrive is. And we think that's critically important, given the growth in this industry and the demand for qualified, capable care that's coming our way as our population dramatically ages. So Thrive ticks every box. We provide ease of access. Our caregivers are staff members, not 1099 independent contractors. Um, every one of our caregivers would be certified. The plans are customized for individual needs. We provide 24-7 customer support and the reporting as I described. Next slide, please. So what's the revenue model? Well, of course, the way we generate revenue is through the provision immediately of in-home care services, the difference between what we charge per hour and what it costs us per hour to provide that service. This is a massively scalable, high revenue business. Uh, given us 55 to $60 billion industry today, that will probably exceed 100 billion in four or five years. We think a small percentage of that in industry captured by a much better tool with much better service quality and access can capture a fair chunk of revenue. Once we get rolling, the next steps are we can adapt the exact same technology that we're designing and service capabilities to occupational therapy, physical therapy. And as we go further, we're planning on, although this is down the road, introducing Thrive Assure insurance coverage specifically for Thrive-based in-home care. We think that's very important because paying for this privately can be difficult and the current long-term care insurance policies don't work. Um, Thrive Assure will work. Um, potential licensing we can talk about down the road. And then as we develop trust in, in our brand, Thrive branded products or white label products that would help care for people at home can be part of our model. Next uh, slide, please. So how do we build out our how do we build out our business and, and bring in customers and bring in caregivers and bring in clients? Three basic ways we're going to attack this. Um, digital advertising, uh, AdWords, social media, boots on the ground, brand ambassadors in their neighborhoods going into the social centers, the doctor's offices, and then marketing partnerships with hospital groups and other uh, medical facilities. Next slide, please. Revenue model, uh, obviously we're uh, looking at a high growth uh, model based on the demand that we see out there and the work that we've done. We're going to be starting in geographic regions, so we launch in Connecticut, then we roll out to Rhode Island, then the rest of the Northeast, um, and then the, the business continues to scale from there. Next slide, please. 
We're raising approximately 500,000 right now through a note offering. That helps us complete the technology development, um, helps with some payroll and sales and marketing. Effectively, this raise puts us into business. We go live with this raise. So this is not an R&D project. Once we raise this capital, we'll be live a few months later with this groundbreaking platform. Um, next slide, please. That's my uh, presentation. Thank you very much for listening, and hopefully there'll be a few questions. And as Lou had mentioned, any questions we can't answer now, please get to Springboard, and I look forward to interacting with you folks. Thanks again. Okay, great. <clears throat> Thanks, Andrew, for the nice presentation. And we do have a lot of questions, so again, I'll do as many as I can in the few minutes that we have left. Uh, your first question is, you mentioned more motivated workers, which results in better quality care. I agree motivated workers can contribute to better care, but how will you provide better motivated workers? So one of the models within the Thrive business is really treating our workers with respect and decency. Uh, domestic care workers are historically some of the worst uh, treated workers in our workforce. They're some of the lowest paid. A good majority of them live below the poverty line. So we're going to be paying these people more than the market rates right now. We're going to be putting them on payroll, which is really important, and we're going to give them career path and career opportunity and training. And one of the things they get when they work with Thrive are portable credentials. So a care worker working for Thrive in Atlanta who decides to move to Chicago to be with her sister, the minute she lands in Chicago, if she's Thrive certified, she can go to work immediately. That's a really powerful, important thing. And with that package of opportunity for people, we think we'll drive our workers and our employees to provide the best level of care possible. That supports our brand. Thanks, Andrew. Uh, next question, how much traction do you have to date? So right now where we are is we've got our license, our care license in Connecticut. We have our initial what I would call beta laboratory team of care workers in Connecticut lined up. Um, they've been doing work on a private basis for us and we're using that as a way to bring in on the ground information about how to build the technology to really react to real world situations. Um, we have a fairly extensive list of prospects starting to build up for when we open the doors for real. Um, and we have our team fully in place ready to launch. The art, and one other thing, the architecture and wireframing for this platform is all done and coding is just about to start. Okay, um, now another question is, how do the margins in the business look? Uh, I understand margins can vary a lot in this industry. Right, so it, depending upon which vertical we're talking about and which price level we're talking about, the margins can vary. So for example, you tend to have three verticals which are basically the least skilled companion care, then you have the health aids care level, and then you have the actual rev, uh, registered nurse level. Um, within the companion care level, we'll be offering certified care workers or there'll be also the basic level, which are, would be the non-certified, if that's what someone chose. So we give people the choice. Across those verticals um, and price levels, we're looking at a gross margin of approximately 40 to 45 percent. Okay, great. Uh, we are almost out of time. I'm going to have to cut it short. Um, one more final reminder, uh, you know, a lot of questions came through. We had over 248 people register at this point, so uh, we couldn't get to everyone, but we promise we will. Uh, you'll be hearing back from uh, both Andrew and Lou if you ask questions, and we will also be sending out a copy of the webinar. Uh, feel free to share this with anyone that you think may be interested, and if you have any questions, you can just shoot those, those on over to info at springboardequity.com. We will be doing these uh, at least monthly with our featured companies, and again, thank you for taking your time and joining us on the call.